Today is a big day. Not only will we be finally fixing my AIO cooler, but we'll also be doing some very interesting cooling mods. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here and today we will be finally doing some insane cooling upgrades. These have been planned for months. For example, this Intel bracket I've had for about three or four months, but we're finally going to be doing the ultimate cooling upgrades. Now, you might know already, I did a video a little while back. I'll link it down in the top right of the video. It was a copper IHS video. Rocket Cool sent me out a kit, and I now believe that the copper IHS is not the best thing to do. Instead, what you should do, is you should get the standard D-Lid kit, use your stock IHS, and use a frame for about $6 on AliExpress. I'll link one down below. I'll also link one on Amazon affiliate link if you guys are interested. So today what we'll be doing is we will be first fixing the AIO because I have a affected one that has some issues with some gaskets. So I'll be showing you how to do that. And then I will be replacing the copper IHS with this IHS liquid metal underneath and on top of the IHS. I'm super excited for this. So yes, let's get on. If you like this content, subscribe so you can get some more of it. Let's just get right into it now. Okay, so I ran OCCT small AVX to extreme for about 10 minutes, as you can see, and the max temperatures actually were, but the delta was 81 to 63, so about an 18 degree difference. That is actually very significant, especially between core to cores that are right next to each other. Averages also are pretty all over the place. That's about a 15 degree difference. So. There are some weird temperature issues right now, so I'm hoping we can fix that. Obviously, we'll go back after and run AVX2 after we do all these mods. But now let's take the PC apart, throw it on the table, and get to working. All right, so I started off by already unscrewing the cooler. This is what the PC looks like. First of all, this is a tight fit. I can push it back a little bit, but man, it's gonna be tight with a 4090 in it. So we are going to take off the cooler so i'm doing this let me unplug this i just want to see the spread of the actual thermal paste right now now it is a little kind of stuck luckily we do have like an ihs on you know a frame so let's just take our time trying to loosen this because i also want to make sure that you guys can see the spread um give me a little bit let me just wait and i'll do this with two hands and get it out so here's the pace as you can see there's very little pace on the actual cpu itself it all gets pumped out super flat material i got the aio so now what we're going to do is we're going to use a screwdriver i'm using a phillips zero bit this is extremely important you do not want to strip these screws you will not have a fun time with your aio before you unscrew the cooler itself i want you to make sure you do one thing Make sure that you organize the screws just so they make sure that they know where they are, like the bottom right one, you know, screw that back into the bottom right. It does matter, I believe. I just want to make sure that you're not obviously going to screw in the wrong ones to the wrong area. Also, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, do both, uh, because why not? See how fast you can do it. Let's just see how fast. We're trying to hit 2,000 subs. I know we're pretty far. Also trying to just grow so if you're enjoying the content do all that stuff for me let's just look over real quick what comes in the kit so two replacement screws i probably hopefully will not need these mx clean this is to clean like the um thermal paste off of your cpu and your cooler i didn't use this i just used isopropyl alcohol and uh paper towel it comes with some mx5 thermal paste we're not using that we'll be using conductor not like real chads and the gasket itself. Now, basically this comes upside down. So basically what you'd wanna do is have it put so that this part right here, so this little curve, goes on the curve on the bottom of the AIO right here. Um, I'll show you guys how to do it. There's also an Arctic video. You can Google, check it out, but let's just unscrew the uh, current cold plate. So AIO is off. So now you want to use something just to get underneath this old gasket. It is black. The new one is clear, by the way. I also forgot to mention it comes with a little bottle of fluid to fill up the AIO. But so now what I'm going to, and here is the cold plate. As you can see, it's a little dirty. It's not the best. So definitely this could be causing some issues. Now what I need to do is just take this off. I'm going to take a flathead bit and just get it under. So I'm going to do that. I can't do that with no hand so i'm gonna do that right now new gasket is in i also fill it up with some of the liquid so basically what you want to do is make sure that there is a raised part in the middle two things of the gasket you want to make sure that those 
that the raised part is towards the cooler itself so you actually can't see it. Now I also filled it up with some liquid, got it up high. Now it's time to put the new cold plate on. Now it's all good. Now it's time to do the fun part, which is the CPU mods. Put it back together and then put it into the rig. So let's do that. Now CPU's in. Now it's actually time to replace the stock ILM with a washer mod with the frame. My frame is custom painted, so this is with TG Shield. This is just to make sure that if any liquid metal gets on it, since it says aluminum, it won't just destroy because we don't want to destroy this. Obviously, this is going to make sure that the CPU doesn't bend. I'm going to unscrew the current ILM and then replace it with this one. The frame is now in. I have liquid metal on the CPU, liquid metal on the cold plate. Now I'm just going to put it back on, put it all together, and then we can fire up the PC. So let's do that. 18 minutes later, We've done the test, and now there is a 74C highest temperature, and lowest temperature being 66. So that now means that there's only an eight degree delta with significantly lower temperatures. I am honestly blown away by this. This was insane. This is something I recommend. Don't get a copper IHS anymore. I'll leave a link down below. Amazon links are affiliate. If you want to support me, you can use those links. If you also want to support me directly and you enjoy this kind of content, Go check out my Patreon, subscribe to me on there. You get support, you get awesome benefits as well as just supporting the channel directly. Trying to get, we got we gotta get some 4090s. We gotta get some content out of here. So you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe, especially if you haven't already. There are so many people who are watching my videos who are not subscribed. I would highly recommend subscribing just so you know when I get a new vid when I post a new video. I'm also gonna start live streaming again. Well, I'm going to start live streaming again, but live streaming on YouTube instead of Twitch. So there'll be more content coming. But hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Peace.